New at 11 tonight, a charity that helps cancer patients is now looking for support of its own. After the nonprofit says someone took off with thousands of dollars of prizes and other memorabilia ahead of a benefit concert tomorrow. All your size, Robert Bradfield is joining us live tonight with what organizers say happened. Robert. Well, and the group was staying at an Orange Park Hotel and their trailer, similar to this one, was outside in the parking lot. It had all of their belongings inside of it, but when they woke up this morning, the trailer was gone. It was a frightening Friday morning surprise. Joey Nichols noticed this white trailer, which had been parked outside of his Orange Park Hotel room, disappeared along with $12,000 worth of contents. It was sitting right there by our room window. You could have reached out and touched it. I don't know how they slipped up there and got it, but they did. He was on his way to the Jimmy Van Zant Cancer Benefit in Middleburg Saturday with a group of other organizers raising money for their cancer charity. They say auction items, t-shirts, and prizes were stolen while they were sleeping. And we're going to do the event, but I don't know what we're going to do now because we usually raise a lot of money with, you know, the merchandise. The cancer benefit is named after Jimmy Van Zant, a cousin of the band members of Leonard Skinner. Jimmy died in 2016, and the nonprofit named after him raises money to financially support cancer patients. We've had power companies that turned off a guy's power in him bedridden when in hospice care over a $78 power bill. I mean, it's sad. A charity known for helping people now in desperate need to find the funds to keep their mission going. And tonight, Nichol says at this point he just wants the trailer and all of its contents returned. No questions asked. And as you heard him there, they will continue with that benefit tomorrow. We do have those full details along with this story on FirstCoastNews.com. We're live tonight. Robert Bradfield, First Coast News on your side.